All right, peeps, here we go. Page 310. And we're going to talk about some hippie stuff, some renewable energy this time around. So 310, your page looks like this. Renewable energy sources. Here we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Right here. Um, most world's electricity comes from fossil fuels, not renewable energy. Look, we're still like doing the mostly fossil fuels by a big amount, by the way, because it's cheap. Like no one really has got like this super like fire underneath them to like go do renewable energy because our electricity bills are still cheap. We still get it for cheap. As soon as, you know, that stops going away, then that's when we're going to be like, dang, and have to pay more for electricity. And then we're going to be like, give me the solar. All right. Most money for energy research is to fund new ways to find oil, natural gas, not renewable energy. So most of the time, like you're hearing about how mobile gas and shell are like, oh, you know, we know that the end of oil is coming and that we're putting most of our money into research, into uh, energy research. Yeah, they ain't researching really solar panels, bro. They're researching ways to get those like odd pockets of natural gas or oil, the ones they couldn't get to before. All right. They're looking for that. And they're also looking for new sources of oil and gas. So saying it like it is, um, why existing machines run on fossil fuels. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of some right now, like, um, all your generators out there really like, you know, they run on natural gas or they run on gasoline. Um, other ones that run on uh, like your cars, they're, you know, run on gasoline or diesel. There's like trying to bring in electric cars is like, you know, you're going to see maybe one out of 20 be an electric car nowadays. And that's better than it was. Um, fossil fuel energy is cheaper overall. Uh, countries are locked in. Oh, these are reasons why people, why it's like tough for people to convert to renewable energy, by the way. Countries are locked in. Um, look, if you got a trade agreement, if you're Germany, you're going to be buying like ga like natural gas from Russia for cheap. You got a trade agreement with them. Um, wars are fought over that. So, I mean, look at all the wars that in the Middle East that's going on and whatnot. Uh, renewable energy is location dependent. Um, so, yeah, if you're trying to do solar panels and you're way up in Norway and you only see and there's like months where you don't see the sun, you're not really going to want like solar panels. If you're talking about wind turbines and you're in an area that doesn't get any wind, you're not really going to be into them. Um, so just as faithful as our options per capita means basic means, uh, per capita, per capita means, um, per person. So carbon dioxide emissions per person of selected countries, 2012. So if you look at the person in Australia, man, those freaking Australians, man, they are like putting out CO2. Like it's their job. They're like Woo! CO2 everywhere. Hey, United States. We take a silver, all right? We ain't much better. We're just like, yep, V8 engine, gasoline, all the way, you know? Um, Canada, you might think they're a bunch of hippies. Guess what? They're still putting out tons of uh, CO2, carbon dioxide. Um, Russia, it's along the same, you know? They just, they're and they have a big problem with their tundra, um, like becoming unfrozen and really like, you know, thawing out and just releasing a lot of um, gases off into the atmosphere as well. Germany as well, just huge manufacturing, huge econ best biggest economy of Europe. Putting it out there, United Kingdom. Yeah, they had like the smog fog right after World War II. You can look that one up. That's with Churchill. We had to shut down the coal uh, energy plants because it was basically creating a smog fog in London. Italy, not much better. France, um, China, Hong Kong, right over here. That's per person. They just have so many people. They pollute a lot for the manufacturing, but they have so many people it offsets it. Because remember, this is by person. Um, look down here, the, your first African nation, Uganda. So start looking. Africa, how much do they really contribute to the carbon dioxide emissions, the greenhouse gases. You know what? 
not very much per person. Um, versus by country down here. When we look down here, CO2 emissions by country. Hey, let's see who's in the lead. It's a purple, all other countries. Okay, next one is China. Hey, followed by the United States. Hey, we got silver again. Um, European Union, which is all the European nations put together. We're going to put them as blue. And then we start going with the yellow, which is India, green, Russia, red, Japan, blue, Germany. Um, yeah, so those are all your countries. Uh, let's start talking a little bit about the positives and negatives about these. So this is covered right here in the book. When you look way down here, um, evaluation of energy sources, it starts here and it just goes on and on. But I'll try to summarize them for you better here. Um, coal, uh, it, there's a lot of it. It's cheap. All right. Um, let me see how much more of these notes I got. In fact, I think I'm going to cover this like in a fourth part here, just because I think it'll go pretty fast. So, yep. Yeah.